So I was, this is one of my favorite books, Relentless. And Andy, Andy said, um, talk about Relentless. I was like, well, that's one of my favorite books. So that'll be awesome to do. And there's a part in this book that when I, I read it, it made me think a lot about when I got in this business 13 years ago and what it's been like since. And this one, lo- this one paragraph just really woke me up to getting back to the relentless Andy that started this business 13 years ago. And it talks about, it says, think about this. When you were born, you were wired with the most basic instincts that guaranteed your survival. Babies don't have to think about their needs. They don't analyze how they feel. They don't plan or decide on what they want. They just know instinctively that they have they, that they are hungry, tired, wet, cold, or hot, and they will scream until they get their satisfaction. <laughs> so I think back when I got started, and I had that aspects of what I wanted to accomplish in this business, and then get, it was in the aspects of whatever I wanted to accomplish, I was going to accomplish. And as you continue to read in that chapter, he talks about being relentless is understanding that you have to be the most focused on whatever it is you want to accomplish. Not have 10 different things, not have 20 different things. That baby is thinking how to survive. And in this business, what you're ch- chasing, everyone in this room's part of the manage, the manager extreme bonus program. If that's what you want to hit, you need to think of that as a baby trying to survive. Whatever it is you have to do to go get that. Because in the book, it talks about you are you were born relentless, you were taught to relent. And when I read that line, I was like, huh. When I was born in this business, I was relentless and I was taught to relent. Because I was more relentless when I started than I am now. And is it the aspects of the money gets in your pocket? Is it whatever it is, the aspects that slows you down in this business? When I read this book the first time, I sent Andy a copy and said, you're the ultimate, you're the ultimate cleaner in this book. It's, it's, it's funny when I talk to people about this book, they always tell me how they're cleaners. And I was like, I don't think they read the book because it says right in the book, you're not a cleaner if you think you're a cleaner. It, it's, it's like, yeah, they're like, I'm a cleaner. I'm like, oh, you should read, you should read the book. <laughs> says it's impossible because a cleaner never thinks they're a cleaner because the challenge never ends. You're always going to another level. You're ne- you're always looking to where you're going to go. And in the aspects of this book, it, it's being taught to relent is understanding, getting the focus that you want to have and what you're going to do. You have to know what you want. It's one of the things like I love what Justin and Sydney were talking about with the 40 appointments. It doesn't matter. They know what they want. They know what they want from their team. And that's why they go get it. And in the aspects of your business, you need to know what you want to get. It, it's blocking out all the other distractions. And as you get more focused on whatever it is that you're chasing, those distractions will disappear. You'll, your questions will get different to Andy because it will be focused on what you're trying to accomplish. It's not what Adam's team's doing. It's not what this team's doing. It's figuring out what you need to do to hit what you're trying to hit in that focus. Like one of the things I want to do in my group is, is if you ask me like the extreme manager bonus, it's not like, well, I want to be up about this or that. I want to increase 300%. But you could say the exact same thing. What's your 300%? That's $208,000 a month of issue paid volume, which equals out to just over $2.5 million. It's actually $2,500,776. And when I know that's what I'm focused on doing, every decision I make in this business is to achieve that. And it clears up every other distraction. So if it's I'm gonna hire somebody and what I'm gonna do for them and what I'm gonna invest in them, what I'm gonna help them with, it has that $2.5 million figure in my head, what's gonna get me there the fastest. What is going to be the reason? What is my focus going to be? So I question you, what is your focus going to be? And the more focus you get on whatever it is you want to accomplish, the more is in sports analogies for Jane Hill, you get in that zone to where it just happens.